Hello guys, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing a little bit of Space Engine. Uh, what'd I do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, first things first, I started off and I immediately found a planet that kind of resembles ours. It has a fairly large moon. Not really that big, though. Not nearly as big as our moon, because our moon's like one-fourth the size of our planet. But a moon, nonetheless. And, uh, it's actually very close to where I left off my last video. It's like somewhere off in that direction but uh yeah i just clicked on a star and immediately found a terra with life so let's explore it let's see what we can find so immediately i see like snow or something on these uh hills down here the temperature of this planet is actually 32 degrees celsius so this would actually be very easy for us to live on Let's go ahead and zoom in and check out these mountains. So, immediately I could tell we have a relatively thick atmosphere. Uh, I can see what looks like either super bright stars. Nope, these are certainly planets up in the sky, so that's why they're more visible. And we have some layered striped like mountains and stuff going on. A little bit of water over here. So if I zoom back out and click on this planet, what type of life was that? So it is marine life, so the odds of actually seeing it are very slim because normally it will not display like marine life and stuff, but we have some unique looking hills over here. Let's check out these up close. Okay, is this, oh no, that's just rocks. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're actually able to visualize this. Let me try going underwater and seeing if there's like a texture here. No, it's a typical like sand texture they got going on. So yeah, this is actually a relatively like habitable like planet and stuff. A lot of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen, which is basically the uh, composition of atmosphere we need to survive. The percentages are not mentioned, but it does mention that there is more carbon dioxide than oxygen, which I think is actually perfectly fine. So this is a cool little planet. The ring system is actually hovering rather close to the planet itself, and it's a pretty dense ring system. It's not actually like spanned out very far from the planet. So the odds are a lot of this will probably just uh, get like atmospheric drag and fall back into the planet or will eventually condense into like an asteroid or just drift off out further. So, yeah, pretty cool planet. We have a snow covered volcano over here. Let's check this out real quick. This one has lava on the top, so that's all cool. sitting out here in the middle of the water. If I actually sit on top of the volcano, you can actually see the stars and stuff. So the, atmos the atmosphere isn't too thick. You can see even the uh, Milky Way galaxy in the background, and my game is really lagging now. If somebody would like to explain this right bar, it likes to pop up randomly. Okay, it's when I hit F1. I When I hit the close button on it, it just doesn't work, so... It's always confused me a little bit. If I just smash F1 a few times, it goes away. Uh, let's see what else we can find. I got a nice bright object over here. Let's go check this out. It is a white giant, and let's see what's around it. Okay, so immediately I see something that stands out right over here. It is a cool desert. And, what, wait, what's going on with the top up here? Is that the ring shadow? Oh yeah, it's the shadow from the ring. I always think it's cool to actually see, like, the atmosphere, like, kind of block out the ring, but you can still see, like, the sunlight shining through it. So it makes it look like it has, like, striped light. So that's relatively cool. Um, 
it is a cool desert, so it is negative 50 degrees. And over here, I think I see a, yep, a frozen ice world. Let's go check this out. Okay, so in the comments, I was told that these are actually craters. That's kind of what I thought they were, but I don't know. They just seem weird, but apparently they're craters that have uh, pushed material up to the surface. The one thing that really always confused me about them being craters is they're not actually concave into the planet. They're just a texture, and they, as you can tell, just kind of overlap everything. All the hills and other craters and stuff, yeah. So, yeah, these have always confused me. And you would think they would, like if it was material being pushed up that's different than the composition that's on the surface, that uh, there'd be like some dark versions of these too, not just all white, but... Yep, I think I'm still going to call them Disco Planet, so... Let's see uh, what else we can find. Ooh, we got a scorched desert that is 1400 degrees, let's check this out. Okay, so it is very bright from the side, and the storm is just huge. Is it lit up from the back? Yeah, so this planet's molten. Uh, as you can tell, the game is stuttering a bit. Let me... Okay, yeah, I don't know why, but... Getting a bit of stutter. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Okay, I'm back, and uh, hopefully I fixed it. Um... Getting a little bit of stutter, but this is definitely a lot smoother. Um, we have another bright object over here. Actually, this is one of the planets around this. So let's go check it out. It's a hot Selena. Yeah, as boring as ever. Okay, it looks like we have a globular cluster over here. So let's go see if we can find something in here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. There's the black hole. Always got to check out the black hole. There it is. Just rendered in. Now if I click on this. No, let's just slow it down a little bit more. And go check out this littler black hole. I can see a bending light. Oh, there it is. And there's a black hole in the center of this cluster. As always, I think the stars that are orbiting around it do not have planets of any sort. And none of them bring up icons for any planets. So let's check out this blue object that's just standing out over here. No, wait, that's one of the stars. Um, got another blue object over here. Okay, yeah, let's check this out. Blue Supergiant. So we got a lot of blue planets around this, a scorched desert, another scorched desert, another scorched desert, a scorched Selena, a scorched Selena, <laughs> a hot Selena, hot desert, hot desert, and a hot gas giant. So everything around here is incredibly hot. Let's go check out this gas giant, I kind of like the way that looks. Whoa, it has like, I've never actually seen that before, it has some really cool like very visibly blue rings with a little blue moon over there. That is actually really cool looking. If uh, the stars weren't so contrast in the background, this would actually look really awesome. Let's uh, check it out from the moon over here's perspective. This is actually behind the planet. I thought it was in front of it. Where is the planet itself? The planet's not very visible from this uh, moon over here. But because it's a blue supergiant, it's also lighting up blue. This is just a... Oh no, this is a cool desert apparently. Let's go ahead and land on its uh, pole over here. <laughs> that is awesome. It has like a blue atmosphere and everything, so everything's just... Everything's blue. Let me just pause the game right here, let this render in, close that, click off that, and uh, that's how you make a thumbnail. Let's see what else we can find. Windows sound. 
So it's got like this awesome blue ring going on. Let's uh, click on this star, bring up its planets, and let's check out this hot desert over here. Again, with the uh, blue atmosphere, but this one has clouds. Okay, so you can see like the stars in the cluster, probably because they're very close and very bright, so regardless of like the atmosphere thickness, they're probably always going to be visible unless it's like super dense, like Venus or something. Let's uh, speed up time and just watch the clouds go by. land somewhere with like mountains and stuff because mountains always add to the scenery there is the star in question hey the lens flare was actually blocked out by the mountain this time a little bit of a stutter there uh, I don't think it's actually gonna turn nighttime because I'm at the pole so it's just rotating around me I think the star's just, yep, it's just gonna rise again. It's definitely not tidally locked though, so I mean, that's, that's good. Where was that star? There's that star. Oh, don't do that. Uh, let's check out this one. I think this is tidally locked? No, it's actually not. Okay, so this has a really blue, red hue to it. Uh, I wonder if the atmosphere is still blue, though. Okay, so it still has a blue atmosphere. Where's the star? Oh, there it is. It shows up yellow in this atmosphere. And the star is about to set. The atmosphere is actually turning like a yellowish green, and you have a really red like sunset over there. And there it goes. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up and see what else we could actually find inside this cluster. We got a really yellow star over here. Let's go check that out. A yellow supergiant. It's got like that uh, cracked terrain kind of texture thing going on. But in reality, this is all pockets of very hot fusion and stuff like that let's uh let's see what we got around here we got an orange planet which is a scorched desert we have a rather brightly glowing like little tiny selena over here let me go ahead and pause time because that always slows the game down okay we have a temperate selena over here which as the lovely disco craters going on, and it has a ring around it. And my PC really just does not want to handle this game today. Wow, you can see, I'm like on the outer skirts of that cluster, so you can just see like this huge mass of stars right there. Let's rotate the camera and hit play and just see what happens. So you can see the star just going across the rings there. And it is set. At night you can see like this huge globular cluster, so I imagine the night sky is actually not all that dark. Not to mention we're actually above the Milky Way galaxy, so you, can, you got the galaxy really lighting up the night, so it wouldn't really be all that dark on this planet. Let's see what else we can find. I'm going to find something kind of in the center of the galaxy itself. And I'm going to turn up the magnitude. Uh, it's probably going to kill my performance a little bit more. But I just want to see what the night sky actually looks like when you're in the center of the galaxy. In these super dense areas like right here. So let's click on this star for example. Close that menu. Um, let's find one with life. In the center of the galaxy. Uh, I'm shocked I have not actually seen one yet. 
wonder if it's just because it's in the center of the galaxy, it's less likely to have like life or something like that. Oh. <laughs> well, the game crashed, so I'm going to relaunch it and start recording again. Alright, I'm back, and I am in the center of the galaxy. And uh, I actually found a star system, binary star system, with two planets that actually harbor life. So let's check out this one. This one is organic unicellular, but the classification for the life is subgalactical. Subglacial. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, subglacial, so. Over in the snow, maybe? I don't really know. The temperature on this planet is negative 147 degrees, so I'm assuming that's actually what it means. Let's see if I could actually find any life on this planet. What's this? What is this? This is just a texture on the planet, I guess. This is not actually... No, that's not life. Um... Uh, not seeing anything in particular that stands out. Uh, okay, subglacial probably means it's like under the snow, I guess? I, I don't really know. What is subglacial? Got some rocks, it looks like. So yeah, I'm not actually finding anything here. And we got this other planet with life, which is one of these ones. What is this? Like, how? <laughs> how like, what, what could be living in a gas giant? I don't really understand it. I mean, if like the incredibly insane winds and stuff on this gas giant aren't gonna kill whatever life exists on here, the radiation would probably get to it. I don't, I don't really understand it. I imagine it's aerial-based life, like uh, I don't know, some some type of spores, maybe. I, I, I just don't know. Well, yeah. Let's check out uh, one more planet around this system, and I'm going to call it the end of the video. I'm going to try to cut these videos down to be a little bit shorter in the future, because, like, the 40-minute videos, yeah, the, the, it takes a while to actually, like, upload those and stuff, and I feel like those are a little bit too long. I'd prefer to keep them within, like, the 20, maybe 30-minute region. Anyways, what do we got here? We got a hot Oceania and a cool desert. A cool desert is just going to be one of those pink and blue deserts. So let's check out this hot Oceania. Nothing really special about it. Eh, it looks like your typical Oceania. It's got a moon. Let's check out the moon. Oh, it's an asteroid. Pretty standard asteroid. And we got the bright star over there in the background. Oh, wait, not bad. The dual star system. That's right. It's, it's, it's a binary star system. Uh, I think this is just two yellow stars. Yeah, yellow dwarfs. So, much like our sun. Anyways, if you like the video, leave it a like and go ahead and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.